Alright guys, today we're taking a look at the ASUS Zenfone 8 here. It is a compact flagship phone, Snapdragon 888, 120Hz AMOLED display at 5.9 inches. A really good gaming experience on here. It plays all of the latest games just fine. The speakers on here are actually crazy. I'll go ahead and crank them up for you just for a little bit. They are super, super loud. Also, your uh, vibration uh, motor on here is really nice as well. This thing has a very strong motor in it. Um, you can see for your settings on Call of Duty Mobile, very high. These are your settings. You get max FPS, of course. It's pretty much going to kill any game that it plays. And as far as heating, um, the phone, when I initially got it, um, it was heating up like kind of crazy, but um, an update kind of fixed it a little bit, so it's, it doesn't get as hot. So an update did actually fix that for those of you who wanted to know. But Call of Duty Mobile is going to run super smooth on here. All right, we're in uh, Fortnite here. As you can see, no 60 FPS option on here. If you crank it all the way down to low, you still don't get a 60 FPS option. So we'll just crank it to high, 30 FPS. Uh, 3D resolution will turn all the way up here, show our FPS. Let's just see how it handles it. All right, we're you know at a steady 30 frames per second. Game looks beautiful. Playing extremely smooth. So like I said, it's not the it's not an issue of um, whether this can play games fine. It's an issue of if you're a gamer. How do you feel about the battery life? You have the the, the compromise is definitely, um, you know, battery life here, and that's with any small phone. It doesn't matter what compact phone you get. If you want a compact phone, um, you know, these days that is the main compromise. It's going to be battery life. But as you can see, this is going to just play a super smooth as we got everything cranked up. The high settings. I don't know why some phones are. Like my Galaxy S20 FE can do 60 FPS. This phone cannot. So it's like some phones have that 60 FPS option and others do not. But this is playing super smooth, guys. So like I said, not not necessarily an issue with performance here. I don't think that's anything you have to worry about. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not getting any lag here. It's super smooth, guys. Oh, snap. <laughs> I just can't play this game. Wow. Nice try. <laughs> Yeah, but you guys get the point. It, it plays perfectly smooth here. And uh, we're in PUBG. Here are our graphic settings. Again, you can see extreme all the way up. And we'll just go on HDR extreme. So, um, so far the phone is getting a little bit warm here around the camera part, but um, it's still, um, you know, it's not to the point where it's going to be um, uncomfortable. And I think most people are, you know, most likely going to put a case on the phone anyway. So, so PUBG definitely runs um, super smooth on here. So yeah, this it's definitely running like really smooth on here for sure. And 
as far as heating, um, like I said, before the update, it was getting kind of hot. But now, uh, you know, it just gets warm to the touch. It's definitely still, you know, 100% fine. But again, it's a great gaming phone. Very comfortable for somebody with smaller hands. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It just plays everything really fine. So um, just know if you're trying to game like really hardcore on here, you know, it is for your your battery life is going to drain. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.